Here's a picture of my husband. That's a Sunday. Me and him decided to go in the back of Poggy Rock. That's off in the back of Montague. For fishermen, they know just where I mean. For those who don't fish, you would not know what I mean. I was his keep up woman, meaning I was the driver of the boat while he dived. So he was the diver and I was the driver. We were kind of a little bored home. The children was safe and we decided we going up for one little two hours. In two hours we had a boat full of crawfish, trust me. Nobody could believe <laughs> we can do it, but we work well together in everything that we did. So this is him bringing up the crawfish on one of the end. The big granddaddy ones, when they big like that, people would be scared to buy them. <laughs> They'd be like, Jesus, these kind of things is being the ocean big so? I say, yes, baby. <laughs> yes, baby. Well, he's been dead now 16 years. Um, we had such a lovely life together. We got married very young until, you know, we live a lifetime together with people, the things we do, people haven't done who, who live, live until they 90. So I have no regrets. No regrets. That's why you have to be busy ladies and not caught up in the bull crap we're going on. You've got to be busy. Busy being adventurous busy being curious exploring new things you would not have time for argument you would not have time for anything other than where's your next adventure it don't have to be things with money either an adventure can be a day at a new park you never visited before playing basketball when you never played it before take off them nails hello somebody that is what you do we were married 21 years 21 years he died when he was 40 years old going on 41 yeah my children was very young now I have grown children thank God rest in peace